Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And Mr. Secretary, welcome here. And as you see, my, my hat that I'm wearing, I'm supporting the Obama energy program. It's a, a call up a pillar. Uh, because there is no energy program. You're, you're not as guilty, though, as other agencies within this administration. I do think you've made some steps forward. Uh, but I, I will tell you that you're not the only player in town. You've got EPA and Lisa Jackson, an organization that's trying to subvert your, your authority, and they will probably do it because they've got more clout in the White House. So the energy program the Obama administration has is nothing as far as producing energy. I know you don't agree with me. But I keep saying that we have been importing, it's just not this administration, for the last 20 years, about, about between 300 and 400 up to $500 billion a year, we import that much oil, that money goes abroad. So every barrel of gas, every barrel of, uh, um, every cubic uh, foot of natural gas and every barrel of oil makes us less dependent. And I, ha I have to say that one of the things that I never forgot, and I think you can understand this, is the gentleman said, when we turn foreign to foreign lands to supply our energy needs, then I can't help but feeling that somewhere along the way we've surrendered something of our freedom. And that was a quote by Emanuel Lujan, Jr., congressman on this committee and the Secretary of Interior. And that's what we've done. And I hope you understand that as a secretary of one of the largest land holdings in the world, that we need really cooperative um, working with states and with the industry to make sure we're not losing our freedoms overseas. That's just a little speech. But having said that, um, though inadequate, I will take and we appreciate your schedule some additional oil and gas leases in the Arctic, but what steps are you taking to assure timely review and processing and permit applications, again, um, with the Interior and other agencies concerning the leases? And in this regard, I understand Obama administration undertaking a permit cooperation effort concerning Alaskan energy. Where does that stand, and can you provide us with some concrete timelines? Uh, Congressman Young, first of all, I appreciate your leadership on Alaska on so many different issues. And let me say that uh, we are moving forward uh, with a robust uh, energy program that does include oil and gas and renewables and other things that very much affect your state. With respect to Alaska and the Arctic, the President has uh, designated uh, the Department of Interior and my Deputy Secretary, David Hayes, to ensure that there is coordination in the permitting processes with respect to Alaska. Can you, so do me a can you do me a favor? Again, I go back outside your agency and outside the state. When EPA or the Corps of Engineers and recently the Colville River deal, when they get involved and they stop the process which you're putting forth, let me know where I can be of help to you. Is that a good? I, I appreciate that, and I will just reiterate one thing on that, Congressman Young. Uh, the position that the Deputy Secretary David J. Hayes is occupying today essentially allows Interior through the Deputy Secretary to bring together all those agencies so that we have a, an effective and efficient uh, permitting process. Okay, now, regarding the draft EIS and comprehensive conservation plan for ANWR, why hasn't the U, uh, United States Fish and Wildlife Service listed oil and gas development in the coastal plain as an alternative decision to be considered rather just including additional wilderness designations? You know, our position has been uh, and is today that uh, drilling in uh, the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge uh, is not appropriate. Uh, now, my point is, now, that's, remember the no more clause. Uh, I actually think your Fish and Wildlife Agency is stepping over with their lines, and we will eventually find that in court. The no more clause is very clear. It's not going to go through this Congress anyway. Let's, let's kid yourself. You're wasting money. But what bothers me, I understand, is certain national environmental groups have garnered a million signatures recommending wilderness status on the coastal plain. Most of these are communications that have a standard form, and how will the public comments be evaluated, especially since so many of them appear to be virtually identical in nature? If you follow what I'm saying, this is a million signatures. Are you going to listen to that, or are you going to listen to the Alaskans? It is very important for us on our entire conservation agenda, Congressman Young, to make sure that we are listening to the local communities. And so uh, Alaska is a world unto itself in terms of its beauty and its potential. And uh, as you may have noted in the uh, Wilderness uh, and National Conservation Report that we sent to Congress, I did not include anything in there uh, on Alaska because Alaska has its own unique set of circumstances that need to be considered. Thank you. When I become emperor, I might consider you as Secretary of Interior, but uh, that probably won't happen for a while. You have to understand <laughs> that. What are you doing to coordinate the BLM's December 7th lease sale and NPRA with the state's onshore and offshore sale at the same time, same day? Are you working together? Uh, Director Abbey. 
We're working very close together, Congressman. Um, in fact, I received a statement the other day from the state uh, complimenting the actions of the Bureau of Land Management and the coordination that we're doing with them. Good. Ta time of the gentleman has expired. Can I take my propeller off now? This is for the Obama take energy your, plan. Now, I want you to know I'm supporting Mr. Yeah. Markey. I want to tell you right now I'm, I'm, I'm sure the he Obama is, energy program. I'm sure he is thrilled with that. <laughs> uh, Mr. Secretary, uh, I know we I had thought, a, I thought he was taking off his propeller <laughs> because I had convinced him about the correctness of our robust energy program. <laughs> Listen, you can interpret that any way. 